extensive use of radioisotopes and their applications have revolutionized the modern world. Archaeologists use radioisotopes or radioactive substances to determine the ages of fossils through carbon dating, etc. Radioisotopes are being used in medicine, giving rise to a rapidly growing field called nuclear medicine. In addition to the above uses, these radiations have their academic and scientific applications as well. These are used in coursework in universities, colleges, academic and scientific institutions for laboratory demonstration and in experimental research. Now going back to radioactivity, you have learned earlier that spontaneous disintegration of the atomic nuclei causing emission of ionizing radiations or particles and electromagnetic radiation is known as radioactivity. This property is possessed by some elements like uranium, plutonium, radium, thorium, radon, polonium, americium or radioisotopes like carbon and beryllium etc. The questions arise in mind, what are these ionizing radiations? What makes something radioactive? What exactly is emission and can these particles be felt or seen? The emission is in the form of positively charged alpha particles, negatively charged beta particles or X-rays and gamma rays. This emission process is called radioactive decay. Earlier you have learned in detail about different kinds of nuclear decays or radioactive decays like alpha decay, beta decay and gamma decay. Now these radioactive decays occur in unstable nuclei. These nuclei do not have enough binding energy to hold the nucleus together due to an excess of either protons or neutrons. The ionizing radiations are distinguished from each other by their properties such as penetration power, ionizing power, range, stopping and from their deflection in an electric or magnetic field. As an example, gamma rays do not possess any charge. Thus, these radiations are undeflected by electric or magnetic fields. Beta particles being negatively charged move towards positively charged metal plates and alpha particles which are positively charged they will move towards negative plates. Now in our next lesson we will discuss in further detail the characteristics of all these three kinds of radiations. After that you will also learn about fundamental particles of nucleus and atom as well. Thank you for watching.